Airport Firefighter Simulator is coming out on the 10th of February from Rondo Media, developed by Visual Imagination Software and published by Excalibur Publishing. Firefighting is of course a dangerous career, but when you factor in any large aircraft, every incident has to be treated with the greatest of importance. Starting out as a rookie, your shift starts at 6am where you will be briefed by the chief fireman who assigns you a vehicle from their fleet. Once you go downstairs into the garage and into the vehicle you'll be driving for that shift, you will be on call for 24 hours. First, you need to make sure that the vehicle is topped up with water and fuel. And then, you need to patrol the airport waiting for an emergency call that will last for your assistance. These emergency calls require you at any point to get to the location within 3 minutes. Failure to do so means that you did not complete your objective and you will not receive points that are put towards a promotion. The game eases you in gently with a few minor tasks such as checking the fence perimeter for any breaks and putting out fires that start in dustbins. Each successfully completed emergency call rewards you with points that, upon reaching a certain amount, will promote you. As you go through the ranks of promotion, the chief will assign you to new vehicles that are more powerful and provide you with better tools for fighting fires. However, there is a saying made popular from a certain superhero which aptly fits this level of promotion. With great power comes great responsibility. Promotions don't mean that you now have super high powered hoses to tackle small dustbin fires, but you'll now be responsible for calling the landing gears of planes, being present for the refueling of aircraft in case of an emergency, and tackling much larger flames. Each vehicle has its own control scheme, as you can see near the bottom there's a handy menu which helps you to remember what each button does. For example, the traditional fire truck doesn't have a water cannon mounted onto it, instead it has compartments which can be accessed when you arrive at a fire. The compartments hold fire extinguishers, a hose and a cooling fan, each of which offer alternative ways to combat particular fires. The fire extinguisher, while reliable, doesn't have the same power or reach as a hose and the fans assist in cooling down the landing gears of planes. But things start to heat up when you get behind the wheel of the Panther. This all-purpose vehicle is mounted with three ways to combat fire. At the front you have a sprinkler-like system for small ground-based flames and a low-powered hose. On top of the vehicle is an extendable arm that houses a high-pressure water cannon. The theory is that this can tackle any task handed to it, however it doesn't mean that the game starts to become easier once the chief fireman hands you the keys. The Panther is an intricate machine featuring a more difficult interface than previous vehicles because there are a greater amount of options. If you are familiar with other simulators that feature vehicles with multiple moving parts, you'll get to grips with the controls fairly early on. However, those who aren't familiar need only to spend just a few moments to understand how to operate each part of the vehicle. Excalibur Publishing will be releasing this title on the 10th of February 2012.